This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Now shut for John Calipari when it comes to talking about his ejection in Columbia this past Saturday night, but Cal did talk about defense on his weekly Southeastern Conference call. While the Cats may have scored their highest point total of the season in Columbia Saturday, Tennessee is next. The Big Blue gave up 84 points, if you remember, against the Burnt Orange in Knoxville earlier this month as the balls came back from 21 down to win it. This all comes back to, like all my teams, when we really guard, we have a chance. And this team, uh, uh, we had to shift after. We, we spent probably two to three weeks on offense because I just didn't think we were good enough offensively to make any kind of run. Uh, but by doing that, we got away from what we do defensively. And so now the last, after, since Tennessee, all we're doing is really focusing on how we're guarding the schemes that we're trying to use, um, different things that we're doing. We're working on our zone in case we need it because of foul trouble. We seem to have a lot of fouls called against my team, so we got to be prepared for that. And um, um, we've gotten better because of those things. Now the Cats are the only SEC team in the AP Top 25 poll this week. They're up eight spots from a week ago. Number 14, Kentucky, will host unranked and below 500. Tennessee this Thursday. Tip off at 7 and you can watch it on ESPN if you're not going to Rupp Arena. Tyler Ulis is the Southeastern Conference Player of the Week. He averaged 20 points, 10 assists, 2 steals per game against Georgia and South Carolina last week. He's the first player in school history to have two career games of at least 20 points and at least 10 assists. Ulis also named the ESPN National Player of the Week. And then Jamal Murray is the freshman of the week in the Southeastern Conference. Murray just keeps putting the rock through the net. He averaged a team high 25 points per game in the two dominating victories against Georgia and South Carolina, which included 10 made three pointers and that nasty jam right there down in Columbia. A couple of more players of the week awards to get to tonight. One from the NAI ranks and another from the Division II ranks at Lincoln Memorial University. Jarrell Simmons is the AstroTurf South Atlantic Conference Player of the Week. He averaged 33 points, 6 assists, 5 rebounds per game as the 4th ranked rail splitters extend their best start in SAC history to 18-0. Meanwhile, in the NAIA, Union's J.D. Tucker is the Appalachian Athletic Conference Player of the Week. Tucker averaged 19 points, 5 boards per game in Union's 3 wins last week. The Bulldogs are currently ranked fifth in the nation and will have senior night this Wednesday when they take on Reinhardt. Coming up next, five WYMT Appalachian Wireless Games of the Week this week, including a big showdown tomorrow night in Pippa Passes with the Atlas Lloyd Eagles. Welcome back. The first WYMT Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week takes us to Pippa Passes. The formula is simple. If the Atlas Lloyd Eagles win, they get the number one seed in the KIAC tournament. J.R. Hammond's squad will take on IU East tomorrow night. A win would make it the first time the men have had the number one seed in the conference tournament since 1996. And that's when they played in the Tennessee Virginia Conference, now known as the Appalachian Athletic Conference. Yeah, it's been a while. It's something else Lloyd's not done in a long time. And uh, to be a senior on this team, I'm, I'm very proud of our guys. We've worked hard all year. And uh, we're, uh, we're really prepared and really ready for this game Tuesday. It's always a good time when we come together. Everybody in our conference feel that we're not a strong enough team to compete at this level, and we just want to prove everybody wrong. Alice Lloyd and the Red Wolves of IU East tomorrow night on this TV and WIMT.com. 7.30 tip time, the number one seed in the KIAC tournament on the line. Before the men's game, it's the women's game also on this TV and WIMT.com. 5.30 tip off for this one as the Lady Eagles look to win their second game in a row. More game of the week action Wednesday. We go to Harrogate, Tennessee, where the fourth ranked team in Division II basketball LMU hosts Mars Hill. That game set for an 8 p.m. tip time on this TV and WIMT.com. And oh yeah, we're not done. On Saturday, a doubleheader in Williamsburg, U Pike and Cumberlands and Mid-South Conference action. The women tip off at two, the men at four, and it's a top 25 matchup on the men's side. The Bears currently ranked fourth, the Patriots currently ranked 23rd. 
A former Perry Central Commodore had herself a week last week. Caitlin Smith is the Heartland Collegiate Athletic Conference Player of the Week for the second straight week. Transy Sports tweeting this photo out. Take a look at her stats, by the way. In two games last week, she averaged 24 and a half points, four and a half steals, an assist, a block. The Lady Pioneer, oh yeah, also became the all-time leading scorer in Transylvania women's basketball program history. Congrats. Congrats to the former Perry Central Commodore, Caitlin Smith. 11 weeks in, and for the first time this high school basketball season, we have a unanimous number one team in the mountains on both the girls' and boys' side of the Atlas Lloyd College Mountain Top 10, and it's the same school. The Southwestern girls remain the unanimous number one team in the mountains. The Lady Warriors have won 14 straight games. Harlan, Shelby Valley, Harlan County at North Rural round out the top five. Not Central stays at six, Johnson Central at seven, McGoffin County, Pulaski County, and Corbin finish the top 10. On the boys' side, yes, Southwestern takes over the top spot by unanimous decision. The Warriors defeated Perry Central, who drops down to two this week. But by the way, the Warriors lost tonight to Somerset. Big upset out in Pulaski tonight. Meanwhile, Lawrence County, South Rural, and Harlan County are the rest of the top five. And check out the McGoffin County Hornets. They are back in. The Mountain Top 10 at number 10. Quick note before we go tonight, Louisville's Otis Mahmood out for the rest of the year with a sprained ankle. The seven foot sophomore is averaging three points and three re rebounds per game. That's Wurtz. We'll be back after this. You rock.